Oh, here we go. Another year coming. I decided I would uh, make this as the last video of 2023. That 2022. God, I'm jumping ahead. Sorry for the extremely late upload. I was supposed to be uploading this video uh, yesterday, but I wasn't satisfied with what I did, so I did not upload it. <laughs> You guys were also supposed to get a crazy guilty pleasure MV reaction last week, and that fell apart because I was battling a cold, and I barely spoke in the reaction video. So, yeah, this past week and this week has not been the best week for me. I'm currently in the bed now, trying to recover from whatever cold this is thankfully it's not you know covid the coof but um yeah i just wanted to take this moment to thank everybody for all the support that this channel has gotten and how far we've come together as a community the, the, i mean that was the reason why i made this channel was for community so I wanted to build a community of people that enjoy K-pop, love the genre, love, you know, K-pop groups and stuff. At least that was my goal later on. I've tried my best to like figure out what to say in this video. I've tried to write stuff down and it just, I can't bring my thoughts into words as to how this year's been. This year has been, it, it, it's been interesting in in the worst way possible. Everybody likes to talk about, oh, you know, this year wasn't that bad. And oh, even though this year was bad, next year will be better. Ah, you know, and it's not that I'm a pessimist. It's just, well, actually, you know what? I kind of am a pessimist a little bit. I, I, <laughs> I am a pessimist a little bit, just a little bit. <laughs> Or maybe it's just I'm mistaking pessimism for realism. I'm a realist. I, maybe I should just put it that way. Um, things get worse always before they get better. And in most cases, nowadays, things get worse and then they get even more worse. But I will say this. Regardless of any of the struggles we've dealt with this year, and there's a lot of them. There's so many of them that I can't even make this video about all the struggles of this year. I can't name them all, there's too much. Regardless of all those struggles, it just brings me back to the channel. <laughs> That's why I made this channel, right? Because I know that you guys go through a lot. And so I wanted to create this safe space for us to get together, kick up our feet, chill, react to K-pop, reactions, K-pop inspiration, all that stuff. As I said, originally, this was going to be a conversational channel. I was going to do stuff more like this and just talk to you guys. But I thought to myself later on after I finished the Gold Digger series, why don't I just give a reaction a shot? Why don't I just give it a shot? And if I'm not good at it, I'm not good at it. And if I am, I am. And we'll just see where it goes, how, how I feel about it. So I did my first reaction, which was Taemin's advice. And I believe it was Taemin's advice. I think I did Dimash and stuff later on, if I'm not mistaken. It's been a minute. <laughs> I have to check. But I'm pretty sure the first uh, reaction I ever did was Taemin's advice. And I started to really enjoy the reaction that I did. I was enjoying it. I didn't think I was going to be that great, but I was enjoying it. Never mind the copyright claim that I got, uh, <laughs> but I really enjoyed it. And I was like, you know what? Maybe I should just keep doing this because I really enjoy K-pop. And I knew I was going to enjoy watching that video. I knew I was. I knew I was going to enjoy it. I just didn't know how, I was, how my reaction was going to be because I wasn't good at it. You know, it's something you have to develop over time. But that's when I was like, had finally decided, you know what? Let's just react. To stuff and see where it goes and i'm grateful that the reaction channel was a success for a, for a channel that started as a conversational channel then gradually became a reaction channel and now it's reactions k-pop and inspiration you know the, the progress of this channel is not bad and um i'm really proud of what i've accomplished this year and Honestly, I could not have made it this far without you guys. This channel would not be what it is today without 
you guys, my viewers and subscribers that have helped me pretty much build this channel. Like, community is everything. Without community, there is no, there is no channel. The channel doesn't function. And a lot of people think that, oh, you know, well, if the viewers aren't paying me, then, you know, then, then it's not worth anything. Um, that's not how community works. That's not how any community works. People, people donate because they believe in your channel and they love your content and they love your, you know, your personality as a content creator or you know whatever reason that they they do it you bring something to their lives and so they you know donate but to like i don't know i just i don't like the idea of telling viewers to donate stuff to <laughs> like if if there's something i'm doing or you know i'm trying to enhance the channel of course you know donations cool but i just think that as a community People should not treat their viewers and subscribers like paychecks. Like, you guys are people. You guys, you already know how I am. I don't care about money as much as I care about making you guys' day feel like a, a, a better day than, than it was before you watched my video, you know? Making you guys' day feel good or feel better. So giving you guys some kind of light, you know? And I feel like I've done that for the most part. This year I've dipped my toes into some controversial topics. Perfection in K-pop and the Leo situation, which I'm going to still be working on for 2023. Definitely. In fact, the Leo situation is a situation that I don't think will ever go away because it's a situation that involves more than just Leo. It's like... What is the limit that a person, a person, doesn't have to be a person affiliated with K-pop, but a person, what is the limit that a person can go to? And how do we properly handle, or do we just jump the gun and just start falsely accusing everybody? Because that's the culture we live in now. And I feel like this year, it has gotten way worse. You know, over this year and last year, these scandals, these fake scandals and cancel culture stuff. I think that's probably the, the, the thing that's gotten on my nerves the most is the cancel culture stuff. It's very relevant. Like, there's so many people that have been affected by cancel culture. And y'all know how I feel about cancel culture. It's it's the devil. Or at least the closest thing to the devil. Um, <laughs> I don't believe in it. And I think that it doesn't give people a chance to admit hey i was wrong i made a mistake and to and to become better people it doesn't give them a chance it takes away people's livelihood and stuff so yeah that was one of the issues one of the biggest issues of this year at least for me and so i i'm now gearing my channel to counter cancel culture and i know a lot of people would like to stay out of that because they think it's a political issue but i i honestly don't think it's a political issue as much as it is a social issue definitely a social issue it trickles into k-pop that's how i know it's not really just political it's a social thing because for korea they're doing it and it's bad like it's so bad there's so many innocent like k-pop idols that have got either gotten canceled or became close to being canceled because of certain things and yeah, that's why I want to combat it. My whole point is the fact that you guys are still with me after many of the changes that I've been making uh, to the channel, it lets me know that you guys are down for the ride and y'all don't know how much I appreciate that. So moving forward, yes, we will be advancing the channel and gearing it towards more uh, serious topics. But of course, we're still going to have reactions because that's a part of what this channel is and I apologize because I'm sick and not feeling well my thoughts might be a bit all over the place and a bit incoherent and so I do apologize for that um, I just wanted to come on here and tell you guys thank you from the bottom of my heart you guys have lifted me up and I want to always be an encouragement to you guys and to help you guys have a better day and of course you know, you know, we're here for each other. That's why I made this community, is we're here for each other. You know, it's funny, a lot of content creators don't want to get close to their viewers. And like, there's reasons why and I understand why, but I don't think it's right to treat your viewers like they're just some person 
on the other side of the computer screen that has no relation to your content other than, you know, I don't know. It's just, uh, it's weird. It's a weird thing to just treat your viewers like they're just viewers. You guys are not just viewers or subscribers. Like, you guys are part of the community. I'm so grateful for my YouTube friends as well. All of the YouTube content creators who have inspired me to keep doing my best and to keep going. So me thinking and reflecting on all the things that have taken place so far, um, I'm really grateful and thankful to all of you for everything that this channel is and has become over the course of a year. To have 304 subscribers is, I still don't understand. I still don't understand you guys like thank you <laughs> thank you I, I've tried my best to put out the best content that I can I don't like to like put you know just put together some crappy video and then just to say that I put a video out for a week I just no I don't like that if I don't feel it I don't I don't put it I don't put it up I don't want to give you guys something that I don't even think is good <laughs> so I didn't because I want to treat you guys I know that you guys go through a lot of struggles and a lot of hardships and a lot of stressful days uh, you know at work and so many things going on and I wanted to give you guys an escape from the stress of life so that's why that's one of the reasons why I've made the channel and as well to kind of give you and I an escape for at least a day or two and to just chill and look at something that we all love to look at k-pop and maybe introduce you to a group that maybe you didn't know about at first i also love the idea of promoting lesser known groups because i think that there's potential there and all of these things played a factor into why i wanted to do this i know that the way that i went is the hard route to like just grow your channel from the ground up but I'm just glad that I did it this way because the fruits of my labor are showing you guys real people that really like k-pop so I'm grateful that you guys really enjoyed the content and enjoy me as a person I'm glad that this year I've opened up to you guys a little more than I ever that I thought I would but I'm glad that I did because I think as time goes by, as a content creator, I want you guys to know me a little more. But little by little, you'll get to know a lot about me. And that's what I wanted. So thank you guys for being here and listening to me and being an encouragement to me. Like, I try to encourage you guys, but honestly, you guys have been an encouragement to me. Every time I see a comment that says that I've done a good job or that my editing is good, you know, or it just, you know, like really in like, there's a few people that comment and said stuff like, I'm glad that I found your channel. And I don't know, stuff like that just really, it makes me feel like I'm like, like I'm doing something good. Finally, something that makes sense in my life. Whereas at first it didn't make sense to do any of this stuff. But now it makes so much sense. And the fruits are all of you. And I just want to say thank you for getting me through this year. You guys have made me feel really good and encouraged. And I've gotten so much strength from you all that it's hard for me to even complain about any of the bad things that's happened this year. At least in my life personally. Now around the world, a lot of crazy st stuff has happened. You know, we've lost uh twitch the dancer from so you think can dance we lost jason david frank those of you who don't know who jason david frank is he was tommy the green ranger from power ranger the original power ranger that i grew up on mental health has been a serious thing this year and uh, of course you know the itaewon thing that happened in october oh my god you know and so many people lost their lives there ah oh, just so many things happened and 
I just wanted to come on here today and just basically say after everything that we have been through, I am glad that I have you guys by my side. I'm glad that you guys saw something in this channel and came to this channel. We have tons of things to do, but I just want you guys to know first and foremost how much I appreciate you for just sticking with me all this time and going forward I want this channel to be so much more and I know it's going to take a lot of work and a lot of time and a lot of effort of course but I I truly want this channel to grow and be more and every day you guys have helped make that possible and I just want to from the bottom of my heart tell you guys thank you so so much you have no idea how much your love your support your comments whether it's just thanking me for making your day bright or whether it's constructive criticism constructive criticism not you know bashing me <laughs> <laughs> or whether it's you telling me a joke. <laughs> I don't know. You guys, you guys have made this process of YouTube so much, so worth it. And I want to do more for you guys. So I'm going to make sure that I do as much as I can for you to make this an even better YouTube channel and an even better experience. So definitely look forward to to what I have in store for you guys, what the channel has in store for you guys. I'm so grateful to you guys, just reflecting on everything. <sighs> There's so many stories I could tell you, so many things I could say, but it would take a long time to go over all of that. It would take a long time. And so, too long. And so I, I'm not going to get into everything, but I just wanted to take this moment to appreciate you guys, the viewers, this channel was made with you guys in mind. People like you who love K-pop, re reactions, K-pop, inspiration, things like that. And I hope that I have done well with the inspiration part. Um, reactions and K-pop, you've gotten that. But the inspiration, I think, I think I've done pretty well this year. Last year, it was just like testing the waters, dipping my toe in, in seeing how the how it feels but this year i've really tried to implement more inspiration more talking more conversations and i did not realize until later on that there are things in k-pop that should be discussed and so i'm glad that i did that with you guys i feel like we've grown together and seeing the growth of the channel like this has really made me want to do more and be more for the channel and uh for you guys so i just want to say on behalf of mama moonlight uh the moonlight family uh who will probably never be on my youtube channel except for mom oh well <laughs> and uh and on behalf of myself just thank you guys thank you thank you thank you i cannot express enough my gratitude to all of you this year has been tragic but great it's been tragic but great and i'm, I'm saying great even though it, there's been more tragedy than greatness i feel but it, it's been it's been a, a ride it's been a roller coaster which life is but we made it so this year I want us to really just reflect and celebrate what we've accomplished individually and corporately and leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section. And thank you guys for listening to me and thank you for letting me share my thoughts and my heart with all of you. And I just hope that we continue to grow together and become a community that I think all of K-pop can be proud of. You know, so until next year, this is Avery Antonio Andrews thanking you all for a great year full of hardships and difficulties. And yet we made it. And so I thank you. And I love each and every one of you so much with all my heart. Let's keep going. Let's keep moving. And uh, I'll see you 
in the next one. Yeah, see you next year. <laughs> I love you guys. Bye. Until next time.